Hey, what's with the statues? Well, that's a great auk, and that's a dodo, a mammoth. A mammoth? Aren't they extinct? They sure are, and so are all these others. Excuse me! All of them? Yep, and there are many other animals around the world whose time is running out. Hey, but the tiger isn't extinct. No, not yet, but it looks like it could be only a matter of time before. Before what? Oh no, not the tiger. I'm afraid so, Henry. Tigers are so endangered that they are virtually extinct. The problem is that tigers are big animals. They need a lot of jungle and a lot of animals to eat. So what's the problem? People are cutting down the jungles, so there's less food for the tigers. Why don't they open a can of tuna like any other cat? They need something a little bigger, Henry. And anyway, there's no can openers in the jungle. Okay, okay, it was just a thought. Now, because there aren't enough wild animals left to eat, tigers have started to eat domestic animals. They'll even attack people if they get in the way. Yeah, well, after what people are doing to the tiger's home, I don't blame them. The point is that their natural habitats are being destroyed. That's the main reason they're dying out. But it gets even worse because tigers are hunted and killed for their beautiful skins. Even their bones are used, ground into a powder, which some people think makes good medicine. That's terrible! That's right. But the tiger is only one of thousands of animals that may soon become extinct. Unless people change their ways, it might go the way of the thylacine, or Tasmanian wolf, that will never again be seen in the outback of Australia. Why? Is it shy? No, Henry. It's been shot and hunted into extinction. So, did it have the same problems as the tiger? Pretty close. People in Tasmania were worried that the thylacine would eat all their sheep and cattle. The government even offered a reward for every dead thylacine. So it was hunted down until only a few were left in zoos. And then, there were none. And I guess extinction is forever. Yes, Henry. Although some new sightings have been reported. Maybe they built a spaceship and... and... Don't start that again, Henry. Sorry. It does give me an idea, though. Henry, what's that? It's my ark. I made it myself. Yeah, but what are you going to do with it? I'm saving us all from extinction. That's what. Henry, come out of there. I don't think we're due for a flood. And anyway, you're not an endangered animal. Excuse me. I'm one of a kind. I'm as rare as you get. <laughs> we're all grateful for that. Another reason some animals are endangered is because they now live too close to people and their modern life. Like this brown bear. Some people have a problem with road safety, but animals have even more trouble. Hundreds of millions of them are killed on the roads every year. Why don't they just use the sidewalk? Most wild places don't have sidewalks, Henry. But it can be even more dangerous in places where they do. Huh? How do howler monkeys cross a busy road? Hey, I told you before, I do the jokes. It's not a joke, Henry. So many monkeys were being injured on the road that the people of this Central American town built a rope bridge for them. Excuse me, did you say people built it? I thought people were the problem. Not always. More and more people are thinking about protecting animals these days. Well, it's about time. If it wasn't for people who do care, then many species like these Grevy's zebras would already be extinct. They're being protected in a wildlife park. Well, yeah, but it's not as good as the real thing, is it? Uh, maybe not, but it's better than being extinct. Good point. And they still get a lot of space to run around in. 
Another place animals are kept for safety is zoos. Zoos? But that means cages and stuff. There's less room in a zoo than at a wildlife park. I know, but sometimes there's no choice. It does give zookeepers and scientists a chance to study the animals, though, and try to work out exactly why they're dying out. But it must be embarrassing to be watched all the time. What happens when they want to take a bath? <laughs> I know what you mean. But at least zoos try to help people learn more about the animals. And maybe they'll go home and help stop other species from becoming endangered. Endangered animal are in third place is the howler monkey. These guys may have lost much of their forest home, but with a little help from their human friends, they can cross the road safely. In second place is the tiger. They've gotten too fond of people and their pets, especially with fries. But the winner of the Golden Gecko Award for my all-time favorite endangered animal is the giant panda. The giant panda is probably the world's best-known endangered animal. Although no one is sure whether it's a kind of bear or a large raccoon. I knew that. Stop interrupting. Sorry, Henry. All right, then. Now there are less than 1,000 giant pandas left, and they only live in the mountains of central China. People used to think they were dying out because they only ate bamboo, and there wasn't much bamboo left. They now know that pandas can eat lots of different things, only they don't. They prefer bamboo to everything else. The big problem is that bamboo is so low in nutrients that a panda needs huge amounts just to survive. And when there's no bamboo, you can guess what happens. Pandas have been rare in China since even before people have been around. Sure, some people have hunted them for skins, but most people like pandas. It's just that the human population grew so fast that lots of land was needed to grow food for people. They didn't have time to worry about pandas dying out. But now that's all changing. People in China and in other countries are working really hard to save the panda. Their mountain habitat is protected and new breeding centers have been set up. It seems that pandas won't ever be common, but hopefully they'll now survive. They're even used as a symbol by conservation groups to help educate people about endangered animals all over the world. And that is why the giant panda wins the Golden Gecko Award for being my favorite endangered animal. And that's when you pounce, okay? Hey, don't blame me. That's just what leopards do. It ought to come naturally to you. What's this, Henry? Your idea of a finishing school for animals? Oh, ha ha. I'm just showing them how to survive in the wild. You know, from one rare species to another. Actually, that's a pretty great idea, Henry. Only for most endangered animals, there's no wild left to go back to. No wild? But where will they live? They can't all stay here forever. Well, until their wild homes are safe, it means that we have to look after them the best we can. I guess. Tell you what, though. What's that, Henry? That leopard isn't gonna get my bed. <laughs> On second thoughts, be my guest. Boy, those endangered animals. They're more trouble than they're worth. Oh, wait. Orangutans are okay. Don't tell me they're in danger, too. I'm afraid so, Henry. Not only are their forest homes threatened, but some people buy baby orangutans as pets. I guess they are kind of cute. But they're wild animals, not pets. Exactly, Henry. So what are these people 
doing? Taking their pets for a wheelbarrow ride? No, Henry. They run an orangutan orphanage. This is where they look after babies that have been taken away from people that kept them as pets. Here, they try to teach them all they need to know about being an orangutan. And how long will it take? It could take more than five years just to learn the basics. Wow! Being an orangutan is obviously much more complicated than I thought. It's certainly a long, slow process. Every day, the young orangs are taken into the forest to play and learn. When they're older, they'll be left there for longer periods with no people around. That way, they'll become more independent, and then eventually, when they're ready, they can be returned to the wild. Wow! So there are people out there who really care about endangered animals. Thankfully, yes, Henry. for the others. No wonder everyone's endangered with you eating all their food. How's the animal sanctuary going, Henry? Oh, great. It's the grocery bill I'm worried about. Well, he is a big, wild animal. Big? You should see what he did in my slippers. Maybe this isn't the best place to keep them after all. Yeah, I guess they need to be cared for by people who really know what they're doing. You're right, Henry. But don't forget, there are ways for us all to take care of amazing, endangered animals.